relaxing than a moonlight drive. Flying fish. So, you want a race, do ye? You're on. Avast, me fishies! Wow! I've been hit. It's a snake attack. <laughs> ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Blowfish! It's the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure! Let's crack it open and see what's inside. <coughs> oh. Hmm. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octoclaw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yeah! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm. Zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Alan, straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut, it's gone. Tweak, spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw on account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years. So, it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. 
but that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Coy! Tim! Clarence! Us coconut crabs are land lovers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. Ready, coconut. Crack! And drop! <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> gotcha! There's Clem! There's a lot of wind. This could get bumpy. Coconut ready! Crack! I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. <laughs> there he is. Damn drop! <laughs> yeah, yow! Nice catch, matey. And I might add, yowch! Wazzy! Rubbing trouble up ahead. Thanks, fishies. <laughs> That's Clarence. Thank you, Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop! Uh, ah! Was in the coconut. This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! Whoa. So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, Thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Diggity <laughs> dog. Trining coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah!
I've never seen a moon like this. Tis known as a pirate's moon and happens but once every 100 years. Shiver me whiskers, the flying swords! Flying swords? Aye, according to legend, tis only on the night of the rare pirate moon when cold ocean waters turn warm that ye may be lucky enough to see the flying swords. They're a sign, me hearties, that you are near a sunken pirate ship where X marks the spot of the greatest treasure ye could ever hope to find. The sword of the Pirate King! But any pirate who hopes to take it as his own must be brave indeed, because the sword of the Pirate King is guarded by three magical flying swords. Me granddad always wanted to find that treasure. Alas, he never had the chance. But now I do! Arr, are we going to look for the Pirate King's sword, matey? Not we, Peso. Tis a mission I need to go on alone. For the honor of me granddad, Calico Jack. I understand. Good luck, Quasi. We'll follow your progress from the octopod. <laughs> a sunken ship. This could be it. Well done, Quasi. Keep us posted. I'm going after that sword, me hearties. <laughs> These freezing waters are shivering me whiskers. Oh, what a glorious ship. The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine. Strange. The water just got warmer. This is definitely it. Quasi, come in, Quasi. We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Got it, Cap. Quasi to Octopod. Come in, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. <laughs> okay, now. Where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Oh, the last one. Stand aside, you scurvy sword. Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! <gasps> it's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! How ran it! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Yeah! Oh, 
I'm a swordfish. What did you think I was? A magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you. The light of the pirate moon made it look like it. Do I care what it looked like? No. What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone! <laughs> I don't want your food, matey. I want the sword of the Pirate King. And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates. And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast. Slashing at our food. And defending ourselves. Aha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. Just regular sword fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Good as new. Oh, thank you, my friend. And thank you for saving our fellow fish's life. It was nothing. You're as brave as a swordfish, and not bad with a sword either. Anything we can do in return, you just let us know. Ah, all I want is what I came here for. The sword of the Pirate King. Huh? You must have seen it. It's here somewhere. X marks the spot. What is an X? What is a mark? What is a spurt? You swordfish aren't the magical guardians the legend told of. So maybe there's no sword of the Pirate King either. Come on, Quasi. Don't give up now. Hold on. X marks the spot. Mateys, I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> could be here to see him. Yeah! Yeah! What? 
up. Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Whoa. What is it? Good question. I'll get my camera. <laughs> Captain, I saw something strange. Something amazing. Something like that? <gasps> oh, oh <laughs> Fantastic. Hi, but what is it, me hearties? Shellington? I have no idea, Captain. I'm searching the creature collection right now. It certainly is beautiful. Found it. It's a giant siphonophore. A giant si what for? A giant siphonophore. Quite mysterious. Not much is known about it yet because it only lives in the very deep water of the midnight zone. In fact, if it goes up any higher than we are now, it'll burst. Oh, no, why? The giant siphonophore lives deep under the water. That means it's used to having a lot of water pressing down on it. When it comes up, there's less and less water pressing down on it. If it goes too high, the giant siphonophore will get bigger and bigger and burst. Flappity flippers. So, that's why we've never seen one before. It has to stay down in the midnight zone. I wonder why it glows. And what's on the end of those tentacles? Oh, it's swimming away. Captain, I've got to follow it. I'll get photos nobody's ever seen before. And I'll come with you, matey. It's hard to steer a gup and snap photos at the same time. Make sure you wear your deep sea suits. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Take the guppy and remember... Be careful! Oh! Excuse me. I can't stop now. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta hurry. <laughs> Tweak, open the... Octa hatch. You got it, Quasi. <laughs> Where'd it go? Over there, into the trench. This must be the tail. Oh, I need to get closer to the head. Aye, hold on, me hearty. Captain, there's a field of geezers at the bottom of that trench. Those geezers could be dangerous. They're like volcanoes, except when they erupt, they send up explosions of water and steam. Understood. Quasi, come in, Quasi. Woohoo! This is amazing! Wow, it's fantastic! This creature is huge! Ah, oh, it's longer than a blue whale! Quasi, watch out for. Hi, Captain, we've caught up with the giant siphonophore! Siphonophore! I was close. Quasi, you're heading straight for a field of geezers! There's peas in the freezer! Wow! <gasps> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! We're sitting on top of a geezer! Quasi, Dashy, come in! Peso, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Dashy are in danger. We're going after them. Peso, Shellington, into the Gup Sea. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the Octo Hatch. You got it, yeah. We haven't been properly introduced. You're that giant siphonophore. We are the giant siphonophore. Uh, we look like one big creature, but we're actually a group of smaller creatures. We work together, see? Each of us has a special job to do. Some of us can light up. Once you follow our lights and get close enough, then... We do our jobs. We get our hooks in, you see. 
And then we use our powerful stingers to sting you. <laughs> like this. Uh, What's wrong? What's the problem? What's stinging? What's talking? Our deep sea suits are too thick for their stingers to get through. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't sting us, you scurvy beasties! Bah! This is shocking! Our plan is perfect! Lights, hooks, stingers. Dinner! Well, you won't be having us for dinner, you giant siphonophore. Siphonophore! That's what I said! Another geezer. geezer! You've got to let us go and move away from here! Oh, we're not giving up that easily. But we're right on top of a pizza! Shiver me whiskers, we're going up! And if you go up too high... We'll burst! Let's try to grab that ledge and pull us all off the geezer! Aye, unhook our arms! Good idea, see? nice of you to save us after our little dinner misunderstanding. There's the gun. But I can't see Dashi or Quasi. And something else is on its way up. It's the Siphonophore. Captain! If the giant siphonophore rises higher than the octopod, it will burst. Then we'll have to find a way to stop it. Barnacles to tweak. Dashi, Quasi and the giant siphonophore are trapped in a geezer. We need to keep them from going any higher than the octopod. And we need to do it now. Well, Cap, could use the octopod's bubble engine to push them back down. Good plan, Tweak. Hurry. Got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone! Hi, Captain! We don't really have a choice! Tunip, while I put the bubble engine in reverse, you need to move the octopod so it's right over the trench. Just there, that button. Oh! Oh! Once everything stops spinning. <sighs> well, that was a close one, see? Oh, my tentacles are all in a twist. Sorry we tried to eat you at first. Uh, you've done so much for us. I wish there was something we could do for you. Well, there is something you could do. Truly a fantastic <laughs> sight. Oh, wow, wow. Yes. Look at the siphonophore. You said it right. Ha. Okay, everybody. Lights, hooks, stingers. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Sea ah. 
Where is it? I have our next mission. The Octomap shows that we're here. In the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, yes. Well, I have my own map of these waters. Excellent, Quasi. A good map helps you to get to places you've never been. Yes, and a secret map helps you get to places you didn't know were there. Hmm. Where did you find it? I dug it up on Catspaw Island back in me pirate days. Yaha! Hmm. This map is very old. Aye. And this map has a tale to tell, Professor. Listen, me hearties. A proud ship once sailed across these waters. The ship carried a precious golden jar. Then there came a terrible storm and the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. There it lay until a scary sea monster made the wreck his home. He guards the golden jar to this very day. If you go looking for it, mateys, you must beware of the eight-headed sea monster, for he'll challenge anyone who comes too close. Yow! <laughs> There's no shipwreck or, um, sea monster on the Octomap. Ha-ha! <laughs> Pirates don't put their secrets on anybody else's maps. In fact, there are many things under the sea that aren't on anyone's map yet. And the Octonauts are out to find them. Who's with me? Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashy, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashy, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating Grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. You're the monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the Octahatch. Got it, Cap! The map says there should be a big rock archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. Coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Closer. Up ahead, I think I see the shipwreck. It's just some rocks. Quasi, we found your shipwreck. Oh, protect us from the sea monster, Captain. Dashy, Peso, we'll look for that golden jar. Yow! <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! <gasps> Ah, 
If I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. That looks like a good hiding place. with eight heads just disappear into a wall of solid rock. Octonauts, over here. <gasps> jar that was on your map, Quasi. This will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey, but don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. Oh, no. Then I'll pull it out very carefully. Over a bit. Down a little. Gotcha. Ah, no monster there. Stand back! I'll do a monster check! Yeah, a sea monster couldn't fit in there! Where is that sea monster? This map is no help, no help at all! Peso, we may have to face the worst! The worst? There's no sea monster here! Oh, phew! This is supposed to be a sea monster map. Oh, wow! What's the point of having a sea monster map if there's no real sea monster to go with it? Quasi, behind you. Yeah! Ah! Found you, sea monster. You win! That was a fun game of hide and seek. Game? Wait, you're supposed to have eight heads. I think you found an octopus, Quasi. Yes, I'm an octopus, all right. Well, you sure acted like a sea monster. You disappeared like magic when I chased you. I'll show you my tricks. <laughs> You'll want to take my picture before and after. Hey, where'd you go? <gasps> I can change my colors. That makes it easier to hide. What's this? <laughs> and I can squeeze myself into oh so small spaces. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's easy when you don't have any bones. You really are the king of hide and seek. <laughs> Even if you're not a proper sea monster. Well, if you hadn't gone looking for a sea monster, you wouldn't have found me. How did you find me? Look, there you are. Oh, time for a new map. <laughs> you're right there, matey. There, what do you think? Perfect, thanks. <laughs> That's more like it. Hi, this is a real map of the place. Now it's my turn to hide. I'll come to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming, ready or not? Wonderful. Another shell for our research, Captain. Let's measure it. Here's the biggest one yet, Shellington. Look, 
There's a little sea star stuck to this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Don't be frightened, little sea star. We're the Octonauts. Who are you? My name is Twinkle. How interesting. You don't look like the other sea stars in this rock pool. Your arms are longer and you're a different colour. Well, actually, I don't live here. I kind of I sort of got lost. Oh. Then let's help you get found. To the octopod. All I remember is I was crawling and then a big underwater wave picked me up and it dropped me on that beach. Maybe if we knew what kind of sea star you are, we could work out where you come from. The problem is, there are nearly 2,000 kinds of sea star, and they live in every part of the ocean, from the top to the very bottom. So how will we find her home? We'll have to look in a lot of places, Peso, and some of them could be dangerous, me hearties. Very dangerous. I miss my family. And they must be so worried about me. I want to go home. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise we'll get you back home. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to search the ocean top to bottom for Twinkle's home. Quasi, Peso, into the guppe. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Aye, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home. And I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy, there be one. Wow. That's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me, me, I'm the sea star. Of course you are. Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was... Ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> Nothing here but my hat. Phew. <sighs> Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight, down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast, mateys. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me, I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Mm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. 
Yeah, you're right. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't think you're from round here. <sighs> Maybe I'll never find my way home. Don't give up, Twinkle. I've got a feeling we're getting really close to something. This way. <laughs> huh? Quick, in there. <laughs> Sorry, I was only looking. Phew. All right, everyone, he's gone. Let's... Oh, look at Twinkle. Wh what? Aye, she's glowing. Doesn't everybody glow in the dark? <laughs> no, but most sea creatures who glow in the dark live in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. The Midnight Zone. It's safe. Back to the cup, Octonauts. Next stop, the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone is completely dark. Many of the creatures who live here make their own light, just like Twinkle. Hey, this is starting to look familiar. Let me see. No, <laughs> Twinkle, don't touch that. Yeah. Hold on, Octonauts. <gasps> this could get bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't supposed to happen, right? There you go. Thank you. Where are we, Captain? Looks like we've landed at the bottom of a very deep hole in the midnight zone. Wow, it's really dark outside. <gasps> the lights are broken. And inside, too. <laughs> the engine's working, but we're not moving. The gut must be wedged in. Well then, we'll have to go out and unwedge it. Octonauts, let's put on our special deep sea suits. But it's blacker than a pirate's teeth out there. Will we have enough light to see what we're doing? Hmm. I can help with that. A little more towards this side, please, Twinkle. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, ready, Octonauts? Now, push! <laughs> Hey! Yeah! Well done, me hotties! The gup is free, but this hole is full of twists and turns. Aye, we'll need more than the light from one little sea star to get out of here and find Twinkle's family. Flappity blippers! Well, I'll be. They look like stars. They are sea stars. Twinkle, is that you? Daddy! Mummy! Granddad! Where have you been? We were so worried. Thank goodness you're home. Everyone, these are the Octonauts. They helped me find my way home. That's right. We searched the whole ocean from top to bottom. Now, if only we could find our way home. Maybe our new friends can help us. Daddy, Mummy, we need to get everybody together. The whole family and all our friends. Right you are, Twinkle. Ready for liftoff, Octonauts? Aye, 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 Captain. Then let's go. We're heading home. Closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. <coughs> then an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. 
It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. Its slimy fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said... I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. <laughs> oh. The vampire squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? Uh, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're gonna need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, right, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. A shipwreck. And strange whispering. Noises too, just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Come in, Peso. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. It's my duty to help no matter what. There's no such thing as sea ghosts. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody in here? Quasi? Is that you? Not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah! there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Flappity flippers! Hey, sir! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy. I'm coming for you, matey! I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. <laughs> I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer. 
Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind. In front. Just in turn. Captain, Captain, I, I can't hear you. Come in, Quasi. Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you hear someone. What? Who's there? Show yourself. Wow! <laughs> gotcha this time. <laughs> yeah, a sea ghost. <laughs> Did you have to do that? I'm well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just... I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too. But sea ghosts are only make-believe, aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out, fast. This way, hurry. Ah! The sea ghost strikes again. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you. <gasps> it's got me. <laughs> this way. <sighs> Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? <laughs> Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long-armed squid. A long-armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes, I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle? If it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends. Did you find... Wait. You forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squid. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to get past these scurvy old sharks, and then the treasure's mine. Be careful, Quasi. Don't worry about me, Captain.
Captain. I'm always careful. I still made it out of there with this. Hmm, it's a beautiful medallion, Quasi. It's not just a medallion, me hearties. This is a treasure map. According to pirate legend, these lines lead to an underwater hidden city full of treasure. Many have gone looking for it, but none have ever succeeded. In fact, my own grandfather, great pirate Calico Jack, once set out to find it was never heard from again. It'd be the one treasure he never did find. Amazing. A hidden city somewhere out there in the ocean. Ah, not in the ocean, Peso. To find a hidden city, we'll have to venture into the deepest, darkest depths of the Amazon River. Ahem. <clears throat> the Amazon River. Captain, that's your cue. Oh, uh, right. Um, <clears throat> Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a special mission ahead of us. Quasi has found a map to a hidden city, and we're going to the Amazon River to find it. Jumping jellyfish. The Amazon is the largest river on the planet. Some parts of it have never been explored. It's full of amazing creatures. Many of them only live in the Amazon. I can't wait! Yeah, Excellent! Well, what are we waiting for? Mind if I drive this time, Captain? Be my guest, Quasi. Dashi, activate steering wheel. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> Octonauts to the Amazon! you look at that? Freshwater stingrays, cable, manatees, and oh, look at those parrots! That parrot kind of looks like... Huh? Well, Quasi, which way to the hidden city? Straight ahead, Captain! Left or right, Quasi? Let's see. According to the map, um, left or right? Uh, no, 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 that's not it. Um, maybe if I turn it this way. Um, oh. Something wrong, Quasi? It, it doesn't say which way to go. This map is no good. So what should we do? We'll have to do this the pirate way. Eeny, me, miny, mo, catch a pirate by the toe. If me hollers, let it go. Eeny, me, miny, mo. <laughs> Everyone okay? I... I think so, but what just happened? Cap, you better take a look at this. Of course. Falling trees are very common along the Amazon. It's nothing a little polar bear strength can't fix. Come on, everyone. One, two, three... Lift! <laughs> That's it. One, two, three... Lift! <laughs> huh? Listen. It's a tidal bore. A wave of water from the ocean is moving up the river. And it's moving fast. Everyone hang on to something. 
must have carried me up the river. <clears throat> Octonauts! Can you hear me? Quasi, Peso, anyone, come in. No sign of the guffs either. Better check the gup finder on my Octo Compass. Oh, it must have come loose. I can't see a thing down here. Huh? Hello? Who's there? Hola. Whoa! A dolphin in a river? That's right! I'm a river dolphin! The name's Bertha. I've lived my whole life right here in the Amazon. I'm Captain Barnacles, leader of the Octonauts. And, uh, I seem to have lost my Octo Compass. Hmm. Is it small? Round? Smooth? Yes, but how did you know? Found it for you! Thanks, Berta. You're wondering how I did that, aren't you? Well, I used the special sounds to find things in the murky water. I uh, don't suppose you can help me find my crew. We came up the river looking for the hidden city. A hidden city? Here in the Amazon? Oh, this I gotta see! <laughs> when the tidal bore swept us all away. I tell you, I've seen some big waves in my day. Wait. Just around the bend. Some kind of a struggle. Like something's hurt. Peso! Shh. I've got a bit of a situation here, Captain. This poor eel, wave tangled her up. Stay back, or I might do something crazy. <laughs> That's not just any eel. That's an electric eel, when it gets upset. That was just a little test. Careful, Peso. I've got this, Captain. Easy now. I'm not going to hurt you. Better not, or else, or else. Shh. I just need to... There. But my tail, it still hurts. I'll just bandage that up for you. Peso! What's the big idea? Scaring me like that! I gotta... Hey! My tail! It feels better! Thanks! No problem. Good work, Peso! Oh. <laughs> Eat up, Quasi! Tis good to see you again. You were just a wee kitten when I first came here looking for the hidden city. But what happened? You've been missing for years. Nah, the old thing was cursed from the start. Twas smooth sailing when Pete and I first set off up the Amazon. But little did we know that the rainy season was about to begin. My ship was nearly destroyed, but was still seaworthy until it was attacked by a flotilla of furious fire ants. I was forced to abandon ship and take me chances in the river. But an even bigger danger lurked beneath the waves. A gigantic green anaconda snake, nearly as long as the river itself. 
We tussled mightily as the current swept us downstream towards waters even more treacherous and certain doom. Luckily, Pete spoke that warning just in time. And? And what? The Hidden City. Did you ever find it? Nah. Not yet, Quasi. I've been going in circles for all these years, thanks to this no-good map. Hold on. Ah. Well, I'll, I'll be, be a, a sea monkey's, monkey's uncle. uncle. It takes both parts to make the full map. Oh, well, what are we lollygagging around here for? Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, look! That's Dashie's camera. Hmm, but where's Dashie? Dashie? Dashie, are you? I found this Arapaima on the riverbank. We need to get him back in the water. Oh no, he can't breathe. <gasps> oh no, but I can! We Arapaimas can gulp air to breathe. <gasps> like this. <gasps> but only for a little while. Don't worry, we're here to help. Peso, you take that fin. Dashy, you take that one. <laughs> oh, that big <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, my friends. You're welcome. But what were you doing on the river bank? Uh -huh. That wave tossed me, the biggest fish in the Amazon, right up onto the river bank. Look what it did to my camera. That thing up there. Hmm. You better let me help you with that. Wait till you see this. Oh, thanks. Now, how about a picture? A picture? Oh, but certainly. That's nothing, Quasi. Hang on! I still can't believe it. I'm on a treasure hunt with Calico Jack. Oh, Quasi. Call me Grandad. Aye, aye, Grandad. Yo, we're getting close now. I can feel it in my peg leg. The hidden city should be just on the other side of this marsh. Dad, did you just... Shh, listen. I've got a funny feeling about this place. It's almost like someone's... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what a cute little... Babe! Whoa! Not too friendly, though. This marsh is ours. No one may enter. Uh, what are those things? Capybaras. I've never seen a map like this before. <laughs> and stay out. Ooh, didn't see that coming. <sighs> We're getting closer to the cup, eh? Just a little bit further. <gasps> oh, hello there. Hungry. Captain, I'm not sure I like the look of these fish. Any idea what they are, Berta? Those guys? They're piranhas. Ah, piranhas. Piranhas? Captain, up here! Shellington, tune in! Just in time, Captain. Those piranhas nearly made you their lunch. I was trying to tell you, the piranhas aren't hungry for you. They hardly ever eat anything bigger than themselves. Huh? Then why are they chasing us? They sometimes get excited when they smell something they like. Hungry. But what could they be smelling? Aha. Oh, fascinating. Junip, your fish biscuits are a big hit. <laughs> yeah, it is a riddle, Quasi. The capybaras are usually gentle creatures. What's gotten into them? They must be protecting something. 
Like a hidden city. Can we sneak past them? No, oh, that's just what they'd be expecting. We've got to surprise them. We've got to swashbuckle them. We've got to do this the pirate way. Yeah! Something big up ahead. The guppy. Oh, it's still stuck, though. Don't worry, Cap. Tweak. I found someone who can help us. Of course. That's a banak. A wood-eating catfish. I found him nibbling some old rotten tree stems. I figured he could use a proper meal. Mmm, nice and fresh. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Mr. Catfish. Anytime. <coughs> All right, everyone, into the guts. We've still got one more octonaut to find. Woohoo! You're doing great, Quasi! This way! I'm right behind you, Grandad! Yeah. And the Thunder Snake! Happy <laughs> virus. Tasty. Grandad, look! It's my children, honey! <laughs> They was just protecting their wee ones. Aye, and we've brought a hungry anaconda into their midst. We've got to help them. Ah! Over here, you big slithery beast. You leave them little capybaras alone. Mm, never tasted one of those before. Ah! Keep him busy, Quasi. Here you go, little mateys. Grandad, look out! It's more rather. Over here, snakeies! You keep scooping and I'll... Yeah! Snack time! There's too many of them, Quasi! We can't give up, Grandad! The pirate way, remember? Or how about the Octonaut way? Right on time, Captain. <gasps> Is that? Ahoy! These capybaras need our help. A good thing we brought back up. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts. Thank you for your help, everyone. And thank you, um... Octonauts, meet the greatest cat pirate who ever lived. My granddad, Calico Jack. Calico oh, Jack. Oh, good to meet you. Smile. Tis the greatest of pleasures, Octonauts. But now is not the time for talking. We still need to find the hidden city. Come on, mateys. It's just on the other side of this marsh. You mean our marsh, which we will let you pass through. Thank you for helping us. Come on, everybody, to the hidden city! This must be it. Get ready to feast your eyes on... Where is it? Oh, it should be right here. <sighs> After all that... Wait! Huh, the tidal bore must have filled the lagoon with muddy water, and now it's washing back out. Look! Oh, oh shiver me whiskers. Freshwater sponges! Incredible! Well, I guess this is your hidden city, Quasi. You mean, there's no treasure? Oh, tis the hunt for the treasure that counts, Quasi. But we've had ourselves a wild one. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Dumping jellyfish. These fish, I've never seen anything like them, any of them. They're all new species. This really is a treasure. Well done, you two. 
<laughs> They're beautiful. That's my work. Well, Quasi, time for me to set sail. Oh, I've spent enough time here in the Amazon. I've got a lot more adventures to have, treasures to find, and swashbuckling to do. <laughs> what say you join me? Me? Go with you? Picture it. Calico Jack and Quasi, together on the Seven Seas. Granddad, I... Quasi, come and have a look at these fish. There's a really fast one you're going to love. Well, Quasi? <sighs> It would be an honour to set sail with you, Grandad. But there's only one ship I sail on now, and that's the Octopod. The truth is, I'll always have the heart of a pirate, but I'm an Octonaut now. Yeah, oh, I understand. Tis a hearty crew you've got there, Quasi. You're a good pirate and a brave Octonaut. <whistles> Come on, Pete. Get a flap on. Ah! Fare thee well, Quasi. Ah, goodbye. Keep an eye out for me wherever you set sail. Aye, aye, Grandad. Aye, aye. Amazing. Stop it, jellyfish. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> All right, Maisies, let's see these fish. Shiver, whiskers. He is a fast one. Look at that one. He's a fast little guy. And over there, that's the silverest fish I've ever seen. Octonauts, my great-grandfather once visited the waters where the octopod sits tonight. Was he an ocean explorer too, Professor? Yes, indeed, Captain Barnacles. He wrote this book about the amazing things he saw in his travels. But there's a mystery in here that I've never solved. Yeah, I love a mystery. Then listen to this, Quasi. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden... I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was a... Hmm. Huh? A what? That's the mystery. The next page in the book is missing, you see. Oh? Professor, we're in the same part of the ocean where your great-grandfather saw something amazing leap out of the water. Maybe we can discover what it was. That would be wonderful, Captain. There's a map in the book that might help you find it. Yeah. Why don't you take it with you? Oh, are you sure? Uh, it's never left my library, but... We'll take good care of it, me hearty. We promise. Don't worry, Professor. I'll put it in my special waterproof satchel, just to be extra safe. All right, Shellington. Octonaut, to the launch bay. <laughs> Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Ah, I don't see a thing. I better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. OK, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. They have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap 
out of the water. And look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Peso, we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. OK. Thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Ooh. Flying fish! That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. Ah. <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But... but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water. And before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain, how in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from my new friend on how to make the guppy fly. The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What goes up? <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh. Must come down. Ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh, I spread me pectoral fins like this so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. <sighs> Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. Okay, I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin. Fully adjustable. Now, Cap, all we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso. Is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail, Finn. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the gups, Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. There they are, 
matings. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them go. Amazing. Ooh, flying fish. I see it. Happy flying! Yippee! Octonauts, thanks to you, we can now add the ending to my great grandfather's adventure. We are ready. Oh, yes. Please. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was. A magnificent school of flying fish. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>